Hi there, my name's Luke, welcome out to Photo Buy, and today this episode is sponsored by absolutely no one because we don't work like that here. So if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing so we can keep it that way, much obliged, let's move on. In this episode, I'll be going through my journey of building a 4K editing machine. So before we dive in, let's cover a few things, okay? One, this is not a PC versus Mac video. Two, I will not be benchmarking. And three, what does benchmarking mean? Before my MacBook, I did actually have a Windows laptop. Uh, it ran on Windows 7, it ran Photoshop, Lightroom, and Google Chrome on six gigs of RAM. The poor thing didn't stand a chance. I'm talking about you, Google Chrome. Anyway, let's move on. So it all starts when I get myself a MacBook Pro about four and a half years ago. Why did I get it? Well, it was powerful, it was what I needed, it was portable, you could edit off of it, um, both photo and video, and it worked a treat. However, since having it for four and a half years, things have begun to change in the sense we're not editing 1080p anymore. The standard is slowly shifting over to 4K, although I'm still a bit eh, if that's the case, but we edit 4K, I like using 4K, I find it much better. The MacBook Pro couldn't handle it, so what do I do? Four and a half years later, I go onto my Mac and I look up iMac. That's the next best thing, right? And then I look at the price and it's three grand. Three grand. My car outside is less than three grand if we ignore the insurance and all that. Three grand. So where the heck do you start? Well, my answer would be good old YouTube. A great man once said, a smart man learns from his mistakes and a wise man learns from others. And what better place than to watch people on YouTube screw it up? Don't go down that rabbit hole, otherwise research will take longer than expected. So, few things you need to know about building a PC. The CPU is the brain, the PSU is the power, and the SSD stands for Super Speedy Drive. It doesn't, but solid state drive doesn't get you any further. The GPU is the graphics card. Now, gamers, uh, pretty much from all walks of life in the PC world, draw over these things. And I can kind of see why they are like the second most expensive part of the build, but they also are very cool looking. And lastly is the RAM. We all know what the RAM does, right? It, it computes things really fast it, it it does like it does the speed it, it, it does speed it, it does speed no no it doesn't do speed so with processor i went with the ryzen 7 3700x it's like a mid-range processor that just came out from amd very powerful eight cores you know it does the job it's what i need helps me keep those tabs open and overall it's a very long lasting card so i won't be upgrading that anytime soon which is a bonus because the less i spend on this damn computer the more i can spend on other things i mean more i can save so with the ram i went with 32 gigabytes of corsair vengeance slight thing I should have done is I got the 3000 megahertz um, modules. What I should have done is gone with the 3200 megahertz because AMD uh, chips, they like a bit more frequency out of the RAM. It's just the way they work. Again, not a computer dude. I'm just telling you my journey. Memory, I went with a 512 gigabyte Samsung SSD NVMe M.2. Yes, that is a mouthful. Yes, that's how you say it, I think. Um, that is basically what Windows sits on. It's what I edit off of. It's a very, it's basically an SSD. That's that. That's what it is. It's just a fancier type of SSD I never heard about until I actually started diving into PC building. Saying that, I also have a 512 gigabyte SSD. Again, a Samsung Pro. Uh, this one is a regular SSD. It's hiding in the back, which is why you won't be able to see it. And it's no B-roll, and that will be partially storage, but also used to edit off of when the main one is full. I also have a two terabyte drive because I have a two terabyte Dropbox subscription so anything that syncs up to the cloud automatically goes into my hard drive so I can share with clients and teammates but then I can also keep everything on a physical hard drive so I know there's no risk it's just something that I do it's not a necessity I just thought it was a good idea and two terabyte drives being HDDs aren't too expensive these days graphics card I went with the MSI Nvidia RTX 2060 gaming Z Yes, that is a mouthful. Basically, I got this card because it's great for gaming because I don't mind doing a bit of gaming here and there. It's also very powerful and value for money. It was about 330 pounds and it stacks up against 500 pounds, 600 pound cards. So to me, that screams value for money, wouldn't you say? Thing just breezes through it. I can color grade, just breezes through it. It is fantastic. So putting my PC was relatively straightforward. Only ran into a couple 
of issues here and there, but nothing too serious. First issue or mistake I made was buying a secondhand motherboard off of eBay. Um, that ended with building the PC to a very anticlimactic end, of which I would turn it on, it shorted, and I didn't get anything, so that was terrifying. Um, but that was fixed, I just had to buy a brand new board from Amazon this time, and everything worked a treat. And about two weeks later, uh, I went to do a driver install, had to restart the computer, restart it, and it didn't come back on. Um, that was great, basically what happened was the motherboard had shorted the already damaged PCU from the original short, um, so yeah, that was a real humdinger. humdinger. Long story short, I bought a spare motherboard, transferred the CPU over to clarify if it was the CPU that was broken after trying a number of different things to get it to work. Yeah, it was the CPU. So I had to buy myself another CPU. Yay. And now everything works fine, so I won't be touching that thing um, until my anxiety wears off every time I go to turn it on. It still haunts me. With that being said, building this PC has given me a big feeling of accomplishment. I know a lot more about computers. I know what is expected out of a computer and what you need so it can fulfill your expectations. Editing 4K recently has been a breeze. My workflow has been massively improved. I'm able to do videos a lot more complex and it can handle it perfectly, which is wonderful. Even with some of these financial setbacks, it was still cheaper than a Mac, which is fantastic because that's exactly what I wanted out of this build. Anyway, so if you want to find out exactly what my build is, check out the link in the description below where I list out everything. Please go easy on me, I am new to PCs, so I'm still, you know, working out the kinks of owning a PC, but I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with it. I still don't hate Macs, I still like Macs, I'm still using my MacBook Pro because I have about 20 terabytes worth of drives that have data on them that won't be able to get accessed from a Windows. Thank you, Mac and Windows. Anyway, as I said, Hope you guys like this video. Any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, my name is Luke. This is Fellow Byte, and we'll see you next time.